Hi, my name is Gilberto Mendoza. I'm here from Savage Fitness. I'm a boxer, professional boxer. I'm trying to fight for the world title pretty soon. Hopefully here in three more fights to get the title shot. Tell us about your last fight. It was a pretty good fight. My opponent had okay experience. It was good. He's a good boxer. He knew how to switch from regular orthodox to southpaw, so he, he had experience. Now, is that difficult when a guy switches up on you? You, you? you plan to fight him, for instance, and this guy, he was orthodox, and then he switched to southpaw? Well, actually, it made it easier for me. I think, I think southpaws are more easier to fight because my right hand, it's almost to their face if you want to be technical. You can always cover yourself with your jab and move to the opposite side. So, to me, when they switch southpaw, I think it's easier for me to land my punches. But uh, when they fight orthodox, to me, that's kind of more harder because I have to use my distance and then I have to use more of my, my techniques, I guess. What uh, fights do you have coming up? Do you, do you have a fight coming up? Yeah, I have a undefeated kid. He's from Tijuana. He's, uh, I'm going to have to fight on his weight division because it's hard for me right now. It's a flyweight to get anybody to fight me with a good record or with any titles. I had a February 22nd, I had a WBC title, but the guy backed out, he went with an easier opponent. So what I'm trying to do now is just call out, you know, the undefeated kids from TJ because they're the only ones that don't back out. They're the only ones that actually fight. So this kid I'm fighting, he's a bantam weight. So I'm moving up weight just to fight this. I think he's 11 and 0 with seven KOs. So he's pretty, he's good. It's gonna be a good for my record. Like that's a good fight. So what are you doing to prepare for a guy like him? He's undefeated. He's got seven KOs. Is he well, your biggest test today? Nah, nah. I'm, I'm looking forward to fight something bigger. This is this is just to prove, prove a, I guess, boxing commission. They want to see that you're you're eligible to be able to qualify for, you know, for bigger title fights. And I guess all these boxers now they're like, oh, look at your record and look at mine and all these. You know, all these words back and forth, just trying to avoid fighting me, but, you know, it is what it is. I just have to wait, take my harder route. What's your motivation to keep fighting? What keeps you going? What keeps me going? Well, every boxer that I see out there, every time I see my, a flyweight division or any boxer from flyweight, bantamweight, or um, any any boxer that I see, it's I see them and it motivates me because I, I see that I have more potential than they do. There's going to be uh, some fights here with Toscano Boxing Promotions. This is going to be throwing two shows, one in uh, July 20th and the other one September 14th. Are you going to be in those shows? We're hoping. Yes, we're hoping. We're trying to get two good boxers. There's this Bruno Escalantes. He got a good record. We're trying to get him to fight us. Then we have trying to get Oscar Vasquez. I've been trying to fight him for a couple of years. He, he sent me contracts, Oscar Vasquez. He's from Reno. He sent me contracts that they always backed out. Like Bruno Scalante is the same thing. The semi contracts we signed, they backed out. So we're trying to get those two guys to fight us because they've got good records. And I guess they qualify for the world title before. So if I could, you know, if I could prove myself with these two guys, hopefully I'll give me an easier, easier access to the world champion, you know? Yeah, I'm real shocked that you say that because I've met Bruno and I've seen him fight before and the guy gets down. Well, he's, he's a good fighter, don't get me wrong. He's a good fighter, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just me and him in the ring. <laughs> who got better skills and who used the better tools at that moment is going to win, you know. It, it is what it is. It's just game. Let's see who knows how to play it better. Talk about your coach. Uh, who helps you with training? Felipe Martinez, he's a good coach. He used to be a professional boxer too, you know. He broke his hand, that's why he stopped, but he's a good coach. He helps me how to move, like, when I seen him, my first time I met him, I seen him, his, his like abil abilities, you know, to move, to like all these new tools that he had that I like. And I told him, hey, just teach me those tools and watch. We'll make it somewhere. And eight months later, we were already on nationals. We went to Colorado Springs. We were doing it good, but then I got, I got disqualified. And then, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let everybody know where they can follow you. Oh, well, they could follow me on, wow, 
Well, I was gonna say Instagram, but I just done. Oh, it's Mendoza eighty nine B on Instagram or Facebook. On Facebook is Mendoza underscore Bergen. Well, or you could just look at me as Gil Mendoza. Gil Mendoza. And then you can find me there too. All right. Any message you want to send to anybody that's out there? Of course. There's a lot of boxers out there avoiding me. There's Duwembe man from Body Sosteca Boxing. I want him to stop, you know, stop talking and stop saying that. Oh, I'm not good opponent when he couldn't even beat a Mexican guy, a 17 and one guy. He's what 13 and 0. And I know he lost because they gave it us a draw. And if you know anywhere in boxing world, if you're the fighter and that's your promotion and that's your that's your event and you get a draw, that means you lost. You know what I mean? So he keeps coming with his little excuses. Oh, if you have better record, I'll fight you. But you know, at the end of the day, we know he's scared. Then I want to call out the WBC that wasted my time too. Um, Ernesto Delgadillo Santana. He's from Houston, Texas. He knows. He sent me the contract. Then went with the Eastern opponent. They were scared too. So I keep calling. He said he, he's been what, already four to five months. He keeps saying that he's going to send the contract, you know, as long as I keep stop talking smack on the media. But at the end of the day, even if I keep talking all the smack I want, they still avoid me. So those are the two guys that I really want. Because both of them act like they're the best, you know, top fighters out there. But in real life, they need to prove it, you know. They can't keep proving it with going with the Easter opponents, keep cherry picking. You can't do that. You have to fight with the real opponents out there. You know, people that don't give up, people that fight any guy. I'll fight Olympians. I'll fight undefeated. I'll fight in their promotions. I'll fight their hometowns. I never fight in my hometown. So these guys over here, they fight in their hometowns. And they're scared to fight somebody who got a little bit of experience. So just give, a, give this guy a shot, you know. That's about it. That's the only two guys I got right now in my head. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. You guys are unnoticed on boxing fans worldwide. Thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs>